The most important component of an electric car is the battery. Without it, the car is a worthless pile of metal. To allow the car to travel and further recharge more quickly, the battery should have a greater operational voltage. Elon Musk and Tesla engineers have undertaken research in order to build the 4680 Super Battery with exceptional features as promised. Tesla's distinctive battery will be constructed at Giga Berlin and at Austin. So here are the latest recent 4680 unit updates. Hey everyone and welcome to Tesla News, where we bring you the newest and best updates about Tesla and Elon Musk. For daily videos, please consider subscribing to our channel. Tesla only started operations at the new factory Berlin a couple of months ago, but the start of production is not as crucial as the ramp up to volume production, according to a recent report from Automobile Woosh from Germany, which shares statistics from within Gigafactory Berlin. According to the magazine, Tesla is currently producing 350 Model Y automobiles each week at the factory. Also according to the source, Tesla plans to increase manufacturing to 1,000 units a week by the end of next month, with just an annualized capacity of 50,000 units. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, was in fine Muskian style, increasing hopes and moderating assumptions in one fell swoop. We have successfully validated performance and lifetime of our 4680 cells produced at our Cato facility in California. We are nearing the end of manufacturing validation at Keta. Field quality and yield are at viable levels, and our focus is now on improving the 10% of manufacturing process that currently bottleneck production output. While substantial progress has been made, we still have work ahead of us before we can achieve volume production. Internal crash testing of our structural pack architecture with a single piece front casting has been successful. The Tesla CEO Elon Musk highlighted his ambition to supply 1.5 million cars by 2022 during a phone call with investors. Elon Musk stated at Giga Berlin that Tesla planned to switch toward its new structural rechargeable battery design in a few months, powered by its own new 4680 lithium batteries. The Model Y automobile is projected to feature approximately 828 4680 battery cells. With a weekly production of 1,000 cars, the number of battery cells produced is around 2 million and the volumetric energy density is 441,000 watt-hours per liter, which isn't surprising. Tesla has been hinting at a massive battery plant at the site for some time, and it might produce more than 100 gigawatt-hours per year, according to reports. At a later stage, the capacity might be increased to 200 to 250 gigawatt-hours per year. Tesla set a new record in January 2022 when it produced 1 million cylindrical lithium-ion battery cells of the 4680 type, which will be used in the Model Y electric cars. Workers at the front of the firm's Cato Road Pilot Plant in Fremont, California, have been photographed by the electric vehicle maker. According to the tweet, these new-age 4680 lithium-ion battery packs are more energy efficient and have a higher energy density, resulting in a more power pack performance for electric vehicles equipped with these batteries. Spectrum.ieee.org posted an article in which it says, The enlarged cylindrical 4680 cell, which Tesla first teased at its battery day last September, brings its own sky-high hopes and challenges. If Tesla can pull off in-house vertically integrated battery manufacturing and the cell performs as advertised, the 4680 could fuel Musk's dream to build millions of EVs a year around the world. Tesla's goals include boosting driving range by more than 50%, 16% of that due to the 4680's newfound punch, while having battery costs and bringing a $25,000 Tesla to showrooms. It added, Tesla continues to dominate EV sales in America, but its seemingly insurmountable lead in driving range is under assault. The Arizona-built Lucid Air sedan, the work of Musk's former Model S chief engineer, has demonstrated it can travel up to 517 miles, a lofty record for any EV. Tesla's best, the Model S Long Range, is EPA rated for 405 miles. Even without using any lithium ion chemistry, the new cell format combined with a structural battery pack is predicted to deliver considerable gains in several areas, according to Tesla's Battery Day event in September 2020. The bodily larger cells should retain 5% more electricity than the currently utilized 2170 type cells, implying a five-fold reduction in the number of new cells, presuming 4416-2170 kind cells. In a Tesla Model Y long range, the Mint Model Y may be able to achieve the same range with fewer than 900 4680 type cells. In fact, the reduction in cell number may be even greater so, because greater total energy density of the battery pack may allow accomplishing the same range with such a smaller battery pack capacity, while initially being used in Tesla Model Y electric cars. At a later stage, the electric vehicle manufacturer plans to incorporate this battery cell in other electric vehicles. Giga Berlin was intended to have a decent production rate. 
How would it compare toward its Giga Shanghai counterpart? Tesla's new plant in Germany and Texas, USA will boast production quicker than those in China. To return to the beginning, a 50% boost in range for a vehicle like the Model S would allow it to travel 600 miles, a diesel-like range that would have been inconceivable only a few years ago. Range anxiety is no longer a problem. One of the experts who believes Tesla will succeed is Sandy Monroe, a Detroit-area engineer known for his reverse-engineered EV teardowns and analysis. Monroe and other experts told IEEE Spectrum that the kick starts with the 4680's physical factor and what surrounds it, not with what's within. Whereas Panasonic built 2170 cells have five times the energy density and six times the power of the new cells. Battery Day claims that the new cells have five times the energy density and six times the power. Elon Musk, the company's CEO, stated in late April that the ramp up is always slow at first. But when it enters an exponential phase, implying that the German production is now lagging behind its Chinese counterpart in its early days, an astounding amount of 3,900 Model Ys were said to have been produced for Grundheide in February 2020, the Chinese Gigafactory's second month of operation. It began at the end of March this year for a daily production rate of 86 Model Ys, with an extra 21 working days in May. The amount of Giga Shanghai in the second full month should be around half of what it was in April. The expansion of Giga Berlin will begin around July, with a two-week break in the middle. Because German manufacturing is expected to be halted for two weeks at the start of the second quarter for major changes, the exponential growth anticipated by Tesla CEO Elon Musk could commence at the end of July. With more personnel, the new goal is to spend 30 seconds at each station, rather than the current 90 seconds, and to reach an overall duration of 180 seconds. So that work on truly completed models is just no longer necessary. The final check should be spread, should be spread to the individual sections. If any specimens come on the line that are particularly unsuccessful, they should be eliminated from the process. So, late on April 20th evening, what are Tesla's high hopes for the future? Tesla CEO Elon Musk holds 420 in high regard. The financial report for the first quarter of 2022 was released by Tesla. Tesla has been steadily boosting sales and strengthening its financial situation for the past two years and the company's 11th consecutive profitable quarter for those keeping track. Furthermore, revenues and earnings are growing at a spectacular rate. Tesla made $18.7 billion in revenue in the first quarter, up 81% over the previous quarter's $10.4 billion. Even the field of online casinos does not have such a significant income as Tesla. In the first quarter, Tesla produced 305,407 vehicles, up 69%, and shipped 3,108 units, up 68% to customers, while the consensus estimate for Wall Street analysts was $17.7 billion. Furthermore, the automaker's net income was $3.3 billion over $3.7 billion if non-GAAP measurements were taken. Elon Musk announced the company's ambitions to create new cars in 2023 at the Tesla Cyber Rodeo presentation in April. The semi-truck, roadster sports car, and the futuristically armored-appearing Cybertruck have a combined manufacturing capacity of over 1 million cars, up from 1.2 million in 2020. The semi and roadster were supposed to be delivered in 2020, while the Cybertruck was supposed to be produced in 2021. And with that final bit of info, this was all. Add your thoughts in the comments section below. Also like, subscribe, and share our channel. We will see you soon with our next video, so be with us. And if you like this video, be sure to check out our other videos. Thank you so much for watching.